So I'll be briefly going over your walk, run, and sprint. These will be three different animations. Now the walk, you won't really see it in game unless you're playing with a controller because the keyboard input automatically makes the character move at the faster speed and completely it bypasses the walk. But if you are planning on using a controller, the, the Joy-Con will pick up on the slower speed, so it's nice to have a walk in there. Um, it's not too hard to animate, again, because I do expect you to have an intermediate level of body mechanics uh, understanding here. So it's pretty typical. Just make sure that the timing of your contacts and your up and down in the body progressively moves faster from the walk to the run to the sprint. And it's also important to reiterate Keep in mind your character's personality and their weight, especially their weight. You want to make sure that all these animations feel cohesive. It's a good idea at this point to shoot reference, video reference of yourself. This is really handy for these simple mechanical shots, or at least just do it to feel it out, even if you don't shoot a video of yourself. Also do some research, perhaps finding walk cycles in a style that you like, or a video game that you want to try and get inspiration from. You know, do a little research on that, find what works, uh, shoot reference, and yeah, I'll hop into sequencer and give you a few tips. Okay, so we need to create the level sequences for the walk run and sprint. So make sure you're in your workspace locomotion folder. And then same thing, right click, go to cinematics, level sequence. I'll call it LS walk. And I'll show you the process for this and then you can just repeat it for the rest. So I like to do it this way just to avoid adding too many control rigs in my level. So since it's already in, this control rig that we use for the idle, we can just go ahead here, actor to sequencer, and you'll see he comes up. So then, it'll take a minute. Now I have him in here. Um, I will also have to add the rapier as well. So let me add my sword. And then same thing. I usually like to do it just a few frames before. It doesn't really matter, but just to make things easier. Parent, constrain, turn off, maintain, offset, create. Then I need the socket. And then it should snap into place. So then I can start animating the walk this way. Now, theoretically, as long as you don't right click and use create linked animation sequence, you can just duplicate this same level sequence for the run and the sprint. However, it is important to note that if you do decide to do the create linked animation sequence and you have duplicated it, as I've just done here, Unreal will get confused as to what level sequence is supposed to be linked because technically it's kind of still linked to all three of these. So that's why I normally just choose baked to avoid any of that. Um, but if you do choose linked, you will have to, I believe, create them from scratch like we did in the first time. And for actually animating your walks, you can do two things. You can either do them in place, you know, pose them out this way. And then on your next contact, you would just have them reversed. So you could either kind of do your walk like this, treadmill style, where they move along. Or you could, if you wanted, animate them moving forward in space like that. And then what you would do is you would take this body control. Um, you would want to make it linear. Let me quickly do that. I'll delete this. And then you would copy it, and then you could paste it to the body offset control. Make sure it's mirrored, so I would do, I guess, minus. And then you can get your cycle uh, in the same spot as always. Either method, I think, should work. Just make sure your root control, again, just leave it at origin because we don't want to use root motion in these. We want it to be driven through the code. So you can go ahead and take whatever approach you want. I will go ahead and animate them. Hopefully you learn a thing or two. And yeah, let's get started.